Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S4 4081 Sing Star. The Milky Way and Each Constellation by Rosanna Hansen. Chapter 1 Seeing Stars. If you look at the sky on a clear night, how many stars can you see? Hundreds? Thousands? Scientists say you can see as many as 3,000 stars with your eyes alone. With a telescope, you can see 600,000 stars or more. Stars look like tiny twink, uh, twinkling lights, on, lights to us. They look small because they are very, very far away. They twinkle because we see them through the air and dust surrounding Earth. Stars are huge balls of hot, fiery gases. Inside a star, hot gases squeeze tightly together. This squeezing makes the center of a star incredibly hot. It's like a giant atomic furnace. And the hotter a star is, the more brightly it glows. Our sun is a star. It's not the biggest or brightest star in the universe, but it's the closest star to our planet Earth. Still, the sun is about 93 million miles away from us. Imagine you are in a spaceship traveling 30,000 miles an hour. It will take you over four months to reach the sun. After the sun, our nearest star is Alpha Centauri. It's about 25 trillion miles away. Your spaceship would take about 95,000 years to reach this star. The light from Alpha Centauri takes about four and a half years to reach, to reach Earth. When you look at Alpha Centauri, you're seeing light that left the star about four and a half years ago. After Alpha Centauri, the other stars are much, much farther away. Some of them are millions of trillions of miles from Earth. With these amazing distances, no one knows exactly how many stars there are in all. But most astronomers, thi astronomers think that there are about 200 billion stars in the universe. Chapter 2. The Milky Way Galaxy On a clear summer night, you can see a pale band of light spreading across the sky. Long ago, no one knew what this band of light could be. The ancient Greeks said, that it was made of milk. They said that baby Hercules had spilled his milk across the sky. That's why we call this band of light the Milky Way. With a telescope, we can see that the Milky Way is really a huge cloud of stars or a galaxy. A galaxy is a giant collection of stars, dust and gas. The stars in the Milky Way are so far away that they blend into one glowing black band of light. The Milky Way contains more than 100 billion stars. Because our sun is one of the stars in the Milky Way galaxy, that makes the Milky Way our home in space. Do you know your space address? It looks like this. Your name, Earth, Solar System, Milky Way Galaxy, Universe. The Milky Way Galaxy is shaped like a huge pinwheel or spiral. Its glowing center has curving arms that sweep out into space. Our sun and solar system are out near the edge of one of these arms. The solar system is made up of our sun and all of the objects that travel around it. These objects include the nine planets and their moons, comets, asteroids, and meteorites. Our planet Earth is one of the, uh, the nine planets that travels around the sun. From the side, our galaxy looks like a huge flying saucer. It has a big bump in the center of a thin, flat disk. Our sun and solar system travel slowly around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. It takes our sun 250 million years to go all the way around. The Milky Way galaxy is only one of millions of galaxies in the universe. No one knows for sure how many galaxies there are in all. Most astronomers think there are at least 
a hundred billion galaxies. Like the Milky Way, some galaxies have a spiral sh shape. Uh, other galaxies have egg-like or elliptical shapes, and some galaxies don't have much shape at all, so they are called irregular galaxies. Chapter 3. What are constellations? Thousands of years ago, people often watched the stars at night. They thought that groups of stars formed the pictures in the sky. In some groups, people saw the shapes of animals. In others, they saw the shapes of their gods or heroes. Sometimes people made up stories about these star pictures. The stories helped them remember each star picture and its place in the sky. We call these star pictures constellation. Many of the constellations we know today were named by the ancient Greeks and Romans. Astronomers have added some new constellation too. There are 88 constellations in all. No one can see all 88 constellations at one time. You can only see the constellation shining above your part of the world. Before compasses were invented, people used constellation to help find the way. Sailors learned to steer their ships using constellation as a guide. Explorers watched for the North Star was the constellation known as the Big Dipper to keep, the, uh, to keep from getting lost. Constellations helped ancient people keep track of the seasons too. Long ago, people noticed that some constellations seemed to move when the seasons changed, so they learned to use the constellation as a calendar. Farmers learned to plant the crops when the spring constellation appeared. They harvested when the fall constellation came into view. Today, we know that constellations are really moving in the sky. Instead, the Earth is moving. It takes one year for Earth, for Earth to travel around the Sun. As Earth travels, the constellation seems to change position. Some constellations, such as the one called Leo, can only be seen during part of the year. Others, including the Great Bear, can be seen all year long. The year-round constellations change position in the sky as the seasons change. Here is the way the Great Bear looks during different seasons. Chapter 4, The Constellations. Stories of how many constellations were formed come from Greek myths. There are some of these stories and, uh, and descriptions of various constellations. Year-round constellation, Ursa Major, the Great Bear. The Jews, the king of the gods, once fell in love with a beautiful woman named Callisto. The Jews' wife was jealous of Callisto and tried to hurt her to keep Callisto safe. Jews changed her, her into a bear, then he placed her high among the stars. Within the great bear, you can see seven stars that seem to form a ladle or dipper. The group of stars is the big dipper. The two stars at the end of the big dipper's bowl are called the pointers. They always point to a very important star called North Star. For thousands of years, people all over the world have watched the Big Dipper. Sometimes they have had different ideas about this group of stars. The ancient Vikings ancient Viking thought the Big Dipper looked like a wagon. In China, people said it was a royal chariot. And in England today, people say the Big Dipper looks like a, a plow, plow. In the southern U U U United States, the Big Dipper used to be called a drinking gourd. Over a hundred years ago, people in the south sometimes had gourds for water dippers. At that time, there was still slavery in the south. Slaves who wanted to escape often followed the drinking gold at night to help them find their way north to freedom. 
Ursa Minor, the little bear. The little bear is the son of Callisto, the great bear. The little bear is the son of Callisto, the great bear. After Zeus changes Callisto into a large bear, he changes Callisto's son into a young bear. Then he took the two bears by their stumpy tails. He swung them one by one up into the heaven, and that's how their tails were stretched so long. To this day, the bears roam the heavens together. The stars in the little bear constellations are small and dim. This makes the little bear harder to find than many constellations. Within the little bear, you can see the stars that form the a little deeper. The three stars of the bear's tail uh, form the little deeper's handle. The brightest star in the little bear is the North Star. The North Star is the only star that never seems to move at all. It always remains almost exactly north. All the other stars seem to circle around the North Star. For thousands of years, people have used the North Star to help them find the way. Cassiopeia Cassiopeia was a famous queen. She was known far and wide for her great beauty. One day, the queen boasted that she was more beautiful than the sea nymphs. The sea god heard the Cassiopeia boasting. He grew angry and decided to teach her a lesson. To punish her, the sea god placed the Cassiopeia among the stars. She was doomed to circle the heavens forever, often riding upside down. Cassiopeia is an easy consolation to find. First, look for the Big Dipper. Then draw one imaginary line from the pointer stars in the Big Dipper to the North Star in the Little Bear. Now extend the line further until you reach five stars that look like a flattened M or W. These stars outline the queen on her throne. Spring Constellation Leo the Lion Leo was a fierce man-eating lion. Many hunters tried to kill Leo, but they all failed. Then their hero Hercules was asked to kill Leo. Hercules and Leo fought for 38 days. Finally, Leo ran into his cave. Hercules followed Leo and strangled him with his bare hands. Later, Jews played Hercules and Leo among the stars. Summer Constellation uh, Cygnus the Swan Cygnus was a young man whose best friend was uh, the, the Phaeton. Uh, Phaeton. One day, the Phaeton flew too high in his father's magic chariot. The Phaeton fell off into a river and drowned. A sickness sat by the river and wept for his friend. When the gods saw how sad sickness was, they felt sorry for him. They changed his sickness into a beautiful swan. Then they placed him high in the stars. Full constellation, the Pegasus, the winged horse. The Pegasus was a beautiful white horse with the magic wings. Pegasus had many adventures with the hero, the Bellerophon. When the Bellerophon died, Pegasus flew up to the heavens. You can still see him there today. The constellation Pegasus is made up of 14 stars. In the middle is a group of four stars called the Great Square. These four stars represent the body of the horse. The other stars form the neck head and front legs of Pegasus. Winter constellation, Orion, the hunter. Orion was a giant who liked to hunt. One day he bragged that he could kill all the wild animals in the world. To teach Orion a lesson, the gods sent a scorpion to sting him. The gods then placed Orion in the sky as a constellation. Sirius. Now look to the left of of Orion in the picture. You will see the constellation called the Big Dog or the Canis Major. Canis Major was one of Orion's faithful hunting dogs, Sirius. 
The dark star is part of uh, Canis Major. This star is the brightest of all the stars in the night sky. Sirius. Uh, Taurus, the bull. Zeus once fell in love with a princess named Europa. The princess loved all kinds of animals. To please her, Zeus changed himself into a bull named Taurus. Europa was delighted with Taurus. She played with him and climbed onto his back. As soon as Europa was safely on his back, Taurus jumped into the sea and swam away with her. That explains why the constellation Taurus is swimming. Only his head and the top part of his body can be seen above the water. Winter Star Cluster, the Pleiades, play, uh, Seven Sisters. Remember Orion the giant who liked to hunt? One day when Orion was out hunting, he saw seven beautiful sisters. The sisters were named the Pleiades. Orion ran after the sister, hoping to meet them. The girls were frightened of the hunter. They called out for Jews to help them. Jews turned the sisters into birds so they could fly away from Orion. Later, Jews changed the sisters into stars. The people of Africa have other legends about the Pleiades. The, the Bantu people in southern Africa believe the stars of the Pleiades look like a, a plow. In East Africa, Maasai tribe, the, these stars look like a herd of cattle. The Pleiades is a star cluster, a group of stars close to one another in space. The Pleiades are part of the constellation Taurus. They can be found uh, glittering near the shoulder of the mighty bull. The end.